Awesome, man. Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Create new agreements based on respect and love. Take the responsibility to make new agreements with those you love. If an agreement doesn't work, change the agreement, create a new one, use your imagination to explore all the possibilities. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 163, NASDAQ's down 37, SP's up 3.5, gold contract flat, 1881 an ounce. We get silver down 40 cents, $27.66 an ounce, light sweet crude. Up a buck eighty-two, sixty-three dollars seventy-seven cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The ten-year note down one tick at one thirty-two fourteen. The thirty-year up eight ticks at one fifty-seven oh eight. And King Dollar. King Dollar is up two hundred and fourteen ticks, trading out at ninety point zero two one. The euro is at one twenty-one. The yen is at one hundred eight point eight nine. The British pound is at one forty-one to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? We get a sideways market out here, folks, with light volume, and you're really at highs. A SPY right now is up 27 cents. Here's 415.53. Bottom line is that we uh, took out the swing high that was generated out here last week, which is 417.49. And it looks like it's going to be a failure on price and volume. Now, that being said, I expect what we're going to see here is this. You're coming into Memorial Day weekend. Memorial Day weekend in general is bullish for the market. Then you get window dressing, bottom line. I suspect what we're going to see here is they're going to have a sideways market into next week. The following week, my take is that we're still in a correction here. And what we have now is that we have two high volume lows. We have the high volume low that was uh, first generated out here going back on the, 13th, on the 12th of March. That number there was 134 million. And then we have the high volume low that was generated out here on Wednesday, which is 106, 106 million. They, they want to get tested. NDX 100, same type of setup inside the uh, NDX 100. If we take a look at the three Qs, you're going to see the three Qs got over the high of uh, yesterday, going to close underneath it. We're going to have around the same amount of volume, which is light volume. You're coming into uh, 60 million, and yesterday we did 46. Today we're at 39. We'll do probably probably do maybe 50, but the 50 is still coming against uh, 65. Small caps. We take a look at the small caps, the IWM out here. What do we have with the small caps? Small caps right now um, up a dollar 48. Uh, they're basically holding price, uh, and they they are the weakest indice, but they're holding price. They've they've been in this consolidation uh, going all the way back to uh, March of last year. Gold. Gold contract wants higher price. Now what we're doing here, folks, is that we're building cars for gold. Um, that's that's the, bo the bottom line here. What we have is that we are at 1882.50 right now. 1881 was, was the number that we're going after. So we got that number. The next number now is up in the 1900s, folks. Okay, so you can see we were coming after the 1881. We got the 1890, okay? That is the trading that was taking place going across from the uh, January 1st to February 2nd level. Yet, I expect we're going to be building cars here for that next level up. The next level up is 1969. We go take a look at the silver contract, S-I-N. Silver is very strong. Silver wants 30 bucks. Right now, what we're doing on the silver contract... Silver contract right now is trading out at 27.66. We had really dynamite volume come in to both the silver as well as the gold market this week. Uh, in the side, the silver market, what's still sticking out like a sore thumb, is 30.01. And that's the number that I suspect we're going to be going after. If we go take a look at the GDX, some of the gold equities. What you have with the GDX up here, this is really a nice setup. What you have with the GDX, actually, let me put this on a weekly. See how this set up on a weekly. 
So on a weekly, what we had, we're coming into 182. Well, you can't, we got 130 coming into 182 volume-wise. Let me see what this says. So it's a little short of volume. But we're a little short of volume from the last swing high here. So what we do, you do want more sideways movement in order to basically get to higher price, because that's the building cause. And I suspect number one, let's see, 39.42. Yeah, you close the close over 39. Bottom line, this thing wants uh, $45. So you're talking about a big number. Now, notes and bonds. This is the trip. Uh, there's no doubt. I mean, the whole world is uh, thinking that rates have to go up for some reason. And I get it. I get it. Trust me, I get it. But the bottom line is that guess what? It's not giving it up. The note and bond market is still not giving it up right now. You're at 132.14, and what we actually had yesterday, and this was very subtle, you had an expansion of volume, uh, it was actually Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, no, it was uh, Wednesday. Wednesday, you start pushing with volume. Uh, what we have right now still is that we have a high volume high that's laying out there at 133.16, and what I expect you're going to see is that that 133.16, uh, bottom line is that we are going to see that thing get tested, and we'll see whether it can uh, basically blow it away. That's, that's the real bottom line. We go take a look at uh, good old King Dollar, and King Dollar continues to build cars for lower price. Uh, what we have with King Dollar out here, you're up 186 ticks, and if we bring this back and you put this uh, laying out uh, on a monthly basis, what you're going to see is that you are basically pounding on the swing low. And the swing low that we're talking about out here goes back to February, of 2018, and that's 88.263. Uh, we're 1,700 ticks away from that right now, and if you blow that baby away, see you don't want to be inside the dollar, that'll bring the dollar down to the 78 area very quickly. Um, Bitcoin, let's go take a look at Bitcoin out here. Bitcoin's had a tough week uh, in a monster way, and uh, uh, Bitcoin trades all weekend, so you can expect uh, action all weekend. That being said, Guess what? My take, Bitcoin's going to 23,000. Right now, you're at 36,000. Uh, we hit the 30,000 level, but the way this is set up, it's like 23,000 is game. So this is going to be pretty wild watching this whole thing shake out. You broke the total consolidation. As soon as you got underneath 43,000, that sets up 23,000. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.